All right, so I wanted to make a video to help anybody who's doing their heater core on their Xterra Pathfinder Frontier. I wasn't able to find great information. A uh, couple things to help you guys out. Number one, all the instructions say that this whole metal unit here has to come out of the car in order to do the heater core. Um, and so what everybody tries to do basically is leave behind all of your wiring, which is a nightmare. You've got it, it runs all over here and down here to your fuse box. And everybody undoes it from here and they undo it from the left side. And then somehow they get this whole thing out of the car. Um, and I figured out that you actually don't need to do that. Um, if you, you do still need to unbolt this guy from the right and the left hand sides. You probably already know that there's a bolt here, a bolt here, and there's three on the left hand side. And there's one bolt up, up under this way. And then you've got down below on either side, down here, there's um, a bracket that you can take off. But if you just undo those, and then the uh, this hangs on these little posts, if you just lift it, off the post, cheat it back, then go over, cheat the left side back, come back, cheat the right side back. You can actually get it far enough out of here that you can undo the, um, there's a center duct work that goes right here. You can get that out of there. And then what I was able to do is unbolt this whole unit. There's, I think only three there's a bolt here, um, there's a screw here, and there's a bolt over here. Undo those, and you can cheat that back away from this frame just enough to get your heater core to clear this bracket. So it's a little bit tricky, but I was able to do it without taking this whole frame out. Um, once you've got this whole thing back from the firewall, you do need to, uh, this is what you'll see if you're looking under the hood, this guy, this is where your AC lines come in, here and here, and you'll have two bolts with uh, their torques. Um, also when you undo these AC lines, uh, obviously you need to make sure that you drain your AC system first, so take it down to a shop, have them purge the lines. Um, otherwise when you crack this loose and separate these AC hoses, uh, it could be pretty unpleasant for you. You get burned. Um, once, once you get those AC lines undone, also keep in mind there are four o-rings there's the two AC lines down below here each one has an o-ring on them and they're two different sizes so you've got two there and then you've got two on these hoses so you got four o-rings to replace make sure you order the o-ring set uh, and have it before you start this project, otherwise you'll be sitting here waiting them, waiting for them to arrive, like I am. So you undo those guys from the front, from under the hood, and then this whole thing you can peel out and work it up out of the way. And then you've got one more piece. That's this uh, black plastic piece that's got two more. Um, I think they're eight millimeter bolts, one in the top and one in the bottom. It's pretty tight, but you scoot this back as far as you can. You can reach back here and get those two out. Uh, and then you can do it with, with it all staying in the car. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. You'll probably find there's this one wire here that was run in such a certain way that 
I decided I needed to cut it if this whole thing was going to come out. Um, but if, if I would have known this didn't need to come out, all of this wiring here that I undid could have pretty much stayed over here. And definitely all the wiring down under here that you have to undo, that could have all stayed in. Um, one other tip. The instructions say that you need to remove your steering column. Um, what I did was just undo these two bolts and undo your, there's some electrical connections back here on the uh, ignition lock cylinder and just drop it down on the ground. Be pretty careful with it. It seems like it's right at the limit uh, of what it can take. So I actually set it on top of just a little spacer or something so it's not quite all the way on the ground. But that way you don't have to take it all the way out like the instructions say. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hope this helps.